So, hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Extra work out on the farm today. Hope you had a wonderful, wonderful 4th of July yesterday. Happy Independence Day. Every day should be Independence Day. So, I thought we would jump back into videos this week. Uh, we are getting a ton of rain. It's disgusting. It's humid as all heck. I'm thankful for the rain, but not this much rain. So we're trying to uh, go over the gardens and work extra in the barn. Uh, second early time today, just to try to catch up with everything because you can't really work when it's when it's a lightning storm. So um, anyway, um, I wanna ask you a question. We ask questions around here. And I don't know if you've seen this, uh, this has just come out in the last 12 to 24 hours. So this is new, hot off the press, news breaking. Uh -huh. um, I have read one article, uh, but there are multiple articles on this. You are welcome to Google and search it. You are, if, it need, if it's fake, uh, please let me know, but I kind of don't think so. Um, here's the question. So we'll just ask questions here. Thank you so much, by the way, for all of your comments on my last video. I mean, we have, we've had the cobbler. Have you made those cobblers yet? You need to do it, okay? Okay, you gotta be a rule breaker and eat you some cobblers, okay? Uh, and by the way, you can put any fruit. You can take those. I've got the breakfast recipe, basically. Basically, you're putting biscuits on it, guys, okay? And then you have my peach cobbler video that came out the other day. Um, and um, that's more of your standard, traditional Appalachian cobbler. You can put any fruit that you want, okay? Um, depending on the fruit or the berry, you may have to cook them a little bit before you put them in the cobbler. So I just wanna say that. Um, it just depends upon how ripe they are or whatever. Pe my peaches were so super soft and ready to go, I didn't have to do that. But anyway, so here's the question. Okay, I'm gonna ask a question. Fly spray. Um, what do you think about the United Nations like trying to do this massive power grab? which will basically void you as being under the U.S. Constitution with your rights. I mean, is that fun? Are you excited about that? And do you know, apparently, I don't know, I'm asking questions. I'm just a muddy, very muddy hillbilly woman out here with the goats and cows. I'm just asking questions. Why would a, un a United States president go along with that? Why would that be a good idea? And the interesting thing is, is when you read the articles, it talks about all the things in a sense, like what you're, what they're preparing for, what their concerns are, like another pandemic, um, you know, world crisis. Um, I, I saw the word false flag even get thrown in there. I mean, they wouldn't, no, they would never do that. Um, and the thing is, is if my memory is serving correctly, um, all of this is supposed to go into effect or has been, you know, they're, they're tossing around these ideas. It's, it's tough being a globalist and a world leader. You got to throw a lot of ideas around. Um, apparently it's supposed to happen, if I'm right, September of 2024. Okay, so that's a year and basically two months away. But what happens right after that, just by like two months? Oh, the election. Oh, <laughs> oh, we're supposed to have an election um, in November of 24, presidential election. So, I don't know. I I'm just, you know, spraying down cat muddy cows out here with fly spray. What's your thoughts on this? Well, hey, honey, I know you've got all these flies on you. Now listen, before I continue our talk here, she and I both have flies on us. Um, here's the deal. This is a dairy cow and they're not supposed to be super duper fat like meat cows. Some of you have asked that question again and again and again. I ain't gonna get mad at you. I just know that you don't know. So um, they are supposed to be a little bit more bony in structure. Now we're putting some weight, we're drying her up. Although she has come back in, she's got milk. We're drying this girl up and uh, getting her nice and sturdy. Aren't we, girl? Gonna get you healthy um, before we breed her. So just to let you know, this is the newest cow that we've got. But, and the flies are awful. 
So here's the deal. Um, by the way, this is organic fly spray. Lots of water with a little bit of lavender bronner. So that's it. Okay. So have you thought about what I'm talking about here? Have you seen this? So basically what this does is um, introduces and promotes more Marxism um, for the UN to intervene however they feel they deemed necessary with whoever, wherever they deem necessary for whatever potential possibility. I mean, you could have a hemorrhoid and that they could deem that an emergency and they are going to come in and try to dictate to you what you eat, how you wipe and what toilet paper you buy. I mean, I'm going to let you read the article because it's pretty extensive. It looks like the Federalist um, has the most um, information on it. Uh, this has just come out since like basically yesterday. So there's going to be a lot more that we know, but I just find the timing so peculiar right before our next presidential election. And within all of that language, you have all of these emergencies that could happen basically. So, I mean, I guess if I thought that, uh, you know, an emergency was gonna happen by a certain time frame, and I wanted to ensure that I had power over that in any situation, I would definitely want to set something up first. You know, they're planning. It's They're planners. They're organizers, it appears. I mean, that's the way I'm seeing it. I mean, maybe we need to call them in to help us organize our pantries and to, you know, better strategize how to pay off debt and, you know, all the things that people need. Because they're planners, you know, they multitask and, they, you know, they're just so worried about all the equity for everything and everyone. That's in the language too. So I'm going to attach that down below because I just found it interesting that I was asking the other day, I'm like, what if we don't have an election? Have you thought about that? And here I am today saying, okay, I'm still asking that question. What if we don't have an election? I'm not saying we do or we don't. I'm fully planning on it. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to be there. You know, I know a lot of you out there think that it doesn't matter to vote anymore. Well, I understand and you know but I, I feel like we still have to give it the old college try you know because of course you know you're going to want to demonize the one person that has the best shot at probably fixing all of this global hot mess that we see well we have to demonize them a whole lot so maybe ultimately we just won't have enough you know enough enough is enough why would we pick on each other anymore let's just not even have an election why why try so anyway so tell me your thoughts about this. I'm going to attach the article. Um, if it's not in the description, I'll put it in the pinned comment. That's usually where all of my stuff is. And by the way, just so you know, anytime I put up a, um, a recipe video or something like that, it, when I say it's in the description, which I typically do, it's at the bottom of the description. So you scroll, you have to scroll. I know it's hard for some people. Okay. Scrolling is difficult, but I'm just letting you know, just try harder. Okay. I mean, you know, it's, that's the way it should roll. So tell me your thoughts about this. I mean, I think it'd be kind of cute for a bunch of people running around looking like, you know, stormtroopers with blue little helmets on. Is that the look we're going for now? Are you going to accept that? If it, if, would you accept that? I mean, do you think that's cool? I mean, do you think that's good for your children? I mean, do you think a handful of globalist elites should be telling you and your children what you should be doing? All because, you know there's emergencies and well I mean I guess if you lend yourself to looking like what you have to you that you have to be told what to do all the time and including how to wipe your behind then I guess they think it's okay but you know but liquor sniffer has it all under control and um, he's all for it so you really need to be looking also into is this you know what are the possibilities of other leaders that could be, you know, for this. Who are they? I guess we'll find out, won't we? But I'm just asking the questions. I mean, literally, when I tell you, I'm covered from head to toe right now in mud and fly spray and skeeters and all the other stuff right now. I, I really don't know much. I know. Some of y'all like to believe that, and I'll go with it as long as you're asking questions, too. That's cool videos coming up. Hope you've had a great holiday week. I hope you're getting a lot accomplished. I hope you are packing your pantry to the gills and being organized as much as possible and uh, thinking ahead. 
because you know why? Other people are thinking ahead for you and they're gonna make special plans. So you might wanna think about that. Might wanna ask some questions. Love you, more videos coming. Like, subscribe, and share. You want some more fly spray? We'll see you on the next video.